Hi, these are your notes for page 21B. Need you to write your goal on page 21B. I can use square roots to solve equations. And while I'm showing you this video or this photo, I wanna make sure you also see how you're going to fold it in. Putting the stem in the leaves is completely optional, but to me, it kind of looks like a flower. So if you would like to make it a flower, go for it. Here are the notes where you can actually see them. So up here, you will see, see if I can make them bigger. Um, oops, sorry. If you have x squared equals 36, the, um, what you have to do when you're solving an equation is you have to do the opposite to both sides. And so how you're going to change x squared to make it x, the opposite of squaring a number is to be able to take the square root of the number. And so when you take the square root of x squared, it gives you x. Well, whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. So you're going to take the square root of 36. Now, most people will get this first answer because what times itself gives you 36? 6. But also don't forget that you could take a negative 6 times a negative 6, and that would also give you a positive 36. You can tell I try to put a plus and a minus through there. Um, you can see them better on some of our other examples. And so when you're solving this equation, you take the square root of both sides, and you would get what times itself gives you 36? Either 6 times 6 or negative 6 times negative 6. Over here, we have x squared equals 121. You can see the plus and minus sign a lot better on this one. So what's the opposite of square squaring a number? Square root your number. So the square root of x squared will bring you down to x. And that's the goal of every equation is to get the variable by itself. Over here, when you take the square root of 121, what times itself gives you 121? 11 and negative 11. Negative 11 times negative 11 is a positive 121. Going down our flower here, um, x squared equals 900. What do you need to do to both sides? You need to square root both sides. Um, when you take the square root of x squared, you get x. You'll see the plus or minus sign here. I write it in there so I remember that I'm going to have a positive and a negative answer. So when I take the square root of 900, I get 30 and negative 30. 30 times 30 is 900. Negative 30 times negative 30 is 900. Now these next two, I've added a little bit to make them more difficult. If you're given 2x squared equals 42, what you'll do is since it's 2 times x squared, the opposite of timesing is to divide. So you're going to divide this side by 2 to get that to cancel. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other. So 42 divided by 2 is 21. Once you've gotten the variable and the squared, like once you get the x squared by itself, then it looks like all of the other ones have. So you can take the square root of x squared, which means you would also take the square root of 21, which means you're going to either get 4.58. Remember, that's rounding because that was not a perfect square. Um, so there are other decimals. In fact, I should have used the approximately sign when I did this one. Or I could do negative 4.58. Um, I, I want you to practice typing the square root of 21 in your calculator so I know that you know how to take the square root in your calculator. Over here, so this is, this is what you do if you have to multiply um, to divide, and you divide it to get the answer. Up here, I made it an addition equation. So if it's 2 plus x squared equals 12. Well, first step is you want to move this 2. So since it's a positive 2, to move it to the other side, you have to subtract 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so you can cancel that out. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other. 12 minus 2 is 10. Once you have the x squared by itself, then it becomes the um, like what the other ones have. So you're going to take the square root of x squared, which will give you x. Look, I remembered my wavy sign, my approximately sign this time. And then square root of 10 is 3.16. Again, that's an approximate answer because um, you have to round. This is an irrational number, so you're just getting a dec decimal 
um, rounding estimation of it. Um, so you can either have a positive 3.16 or a negative 3.16. So I have some notes in here for you in the middle. When you're solving equations with exponents, you're going to do the opposite of squaring the number. So you need to write square root of number right here. Um, you will have a positive and negative answer. And then thinking ahead, because we were going to be moving on to Pythagorean theorem, why would there only be positive in the Pythagorean theorem? If you cannot answer this one yet, then give it a couple more days um, and you will be able to answer it and we will address that then. Thanks for watching.